This is Alan Sampson, editor in chief of the Shorter University of Periscope, and I'm sitting down with Eric Dodson today, quarterback of your Shorter Hawks, for a Shorter University conversation. So, who is Eric Dodson? You know, I think when you, you hear the name Eric Dodson, you think of a guy that's really driven, you know, not only a leader on the football field, but off of the football field as well. Um, just a goal oriented guy, very family oriented as well. Um, someone who really wants to get after it, you know, in life, you know, I have a passion and goals and, and definitely want to do something with my life and, you know, make a name for myself. So what does it mean to you when you hear a coach call you a high character guy and a leader on their team? Well, you know, it's, it's definitely a privilege and an honor, you know, to hear your coach say something like that about you. Uh, you know, definitely playing football is a sport where the quarterback position is where you have to be a leader. And, you know, to hear your coach give you that high praise and, and trust you with the offense, uh, not only with the offense, but the team as well, is definitely something that, you know, you can take with you through life. Some of the critics who say that you can't throw, or maybe you should have pitched the ball or handed it off instead of taking up the better yourself. What do you say to those guys? You know, definitely playing this position uh, at quarterback, you're definitely going to have a lot of critics who say, you know, you could have fit this pass in there, you could have threw it to this receiver, you could have handed it off at this point in time. Uh, you just have to use that as motivation, you know. Uh, no matter what mistakes you make, or you may have missed a throw, or you may have handed it off at the wrong time, but you definitely use that as motivation to get the win any way that you can. You know, you can make mistakes all throughout life, but it's how you finish is, is how I look at things. Outside of football, you're very active in your con department. What kind of legacy are you leaving behind? I don't think that uh, it's going to be a legacy of any of some sort in our uh, department, you know, coming from me. But I definitely want to leave, you know, an inspiration for the freshmen and the sophomores and the younger ones that are below me to uh, to have that drive about them, that, that goal-oriented spirit uh, to get after it and, and really be competitive in this industry. How much responsibility do you take in last year's debacle of a season? <laughs> you know, my uh, my coach definitely would, uh, you know, want me to say this, but I definitely take a you know, if not 100% of the responsibility, definitely 95 to 90% of it. Uh, it's my job to be a leader on the football team. Uh, I definitely wasn't the leader that I feel as if I could have been. Um, it was very tough for us, you know, over the last season, being that, you know, we're a very, very good team. You know, our record did not show that, you know, we're close in a lot of games, but this year, we think it's a different year, and uh, hopefully we can take win a championship. So how do you bounce back from here like that? Uh, you work harder. You work harder. Uh, you do, really don't even have to have any type of inspiration or, or momentum going into this season because of what happened last year. That is your inspiration. That is your, your motivation to be better than you were last year. During the summer, you're very active in the film industry. What are your goals and plans for film? How do you balance film, football, and school throughout your years? Uh, I really do a lot of, like you said, a lot of stuff during the summertime in which, you know, I do my weight workouts for football and then afterwards I'll uh, go and do a lot of film stuff, just trying to get my name out there and, you know, my face in front of a lot of directors and producers and different things like that. Uh, my goals for film is, uh, you know, I, I definitely would be sitting here lying if I said, you know, I wouldn't want to be a, a silver screen actor or anything like that, but my first goal is to be a, a sports broadcaster, you know, possibly make it to spot Fox Sports or ESPN and, you know, if acting comes along with it, then we'll take it. Well, Eric, we appreciate your time. Good luck on the season. Have a great year. Thank you very much, sir.